she is, I don't have to look at her. Chase pad, the thing. And we are playing Tales of Zillia 2. Not that in this game they ever say Zillia Zillia. I don't even think they said Zillia in the first one. They didn't! <laughs> Chapter 11 already. When do they, do they say Zillia in Tales of Zillia? I'm actually asking. Tales of Innocence, they literally say the name because their past lives, like the main characters, have past lives that they're remembering, so they talk about their tale. And the Tales of Innocence is brought up when somebody had been wrongly convicted. So they go, this is about their tale of innocence. And I was like, this is cheeky! <laughs> yeah, it is kind of cheeky. Well, I'm <coughs> just disappointed by that. That what? sure happened. <laughs> what? It's called Tales of Zillia because yeah. they wanted to name it like a big number. So like... Billion or million, and he he made it. They made it zillion instead, which got turned to zillia. So you're like, why do they want a big number? Well, the idea is because there are about millions of connections you make through your lifetime. But there's, as someone has stated in the FAQ where they explained it, there's an almost zero percent chance you figure that out unless you saw the interview where they mentioned it. So like. <laughs> Switch a person, please. I want to be Gaius. Get it, Elise. <coughs> it's like it's like Mila complaining about the freaking. Oh God! Dude, why am I on? Oh, we got an, <laughs> we got an 
stuff real, so. That's in Sap Trap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we were looking for it. No, we were looking for something. <laughs> uh, no, that's the one we teleported here for. It would be a dungeon. <coughs> We have no limits. So I went through the painful process of shrinking my hair. Painful? The, no, it's not. Did you sing painful. into the iron? No, because it's too hot for that. Um, so I <coughs> went through the process of straightening my hair because I thought that my hair pieces were all straight. And I take out the first one and I go, this is so you played yourself. Yeah. So I have to put something like after the shit. Look to the, the right side. I don't know what it's like. I thought I saw something shiny. Yeah, so you have to do all that. I have a cream in my hair that helps straighten my hair. And then I put it in the counteract that so that was my hair to curl. I feel like. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? I got it! I don't have hair I put on. Mm. I even considered putting on my UV hair. Mm. I was like, mm. no. More to the right? It was over there, I think. Like, um, I guess not. Ali. Oh no, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> she just stops. We have to go down there if we want to explore more anyway. I'm just hoping it's not another um what was the spirit not spirit way, the other one, the the mountain? Yeah, I think it's no there was a there was also the mountain wasn't shiny. Yeah. I shall not falter. We have no you used to look them up for us. I looked it up for two streams. I didn't really look all of them up. No, it's true. Some of them were big and shiny. I mean, you were <laughs> actually. We could always try and get the exoplasm eventually. The we're keys to victory to are friendship! It's gonna be on the list after we kill the tree, I think. Yeah. It's just that the exoplasm was rough. Because that's the one you have to kill. You have to like, hit the weaknesses, it splits, and then it. But we have other ones that are really wrong. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I, think, I think it's the next one. On the list. I'm not sure. Why? I think it's Why? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I can't get any closer to it. I have to turn around. Yes, yeah, so you have to point the camera at things you want to pick up like that. We came this way. Oh, yeah, we came down. Mm. Oh, here we go. High five! The proof of friendship! High wiggle! <laughs> huh? In the first game? No, you played 
Jowzer or his wolves. Yeah, but didn't he also have a tree that he had to kill? The first one? I thought there was a tree. I'm sure there was a tree at some point, but I don't think it was a special one. Yeah, that should probably be it.
How's it going? It's jagged. It's and Nova. Every time I would Sounds like you're working hard out there, huh? It's been a pleasure working with you so far. And I look forward to working to the rest of your death together. Hugs. And then today I was like, oh, well, look it feels okay. The first couple No, that was yesterday. Don't let me get like, squished. And then yesterday, I was like wiping stuff on the antiseptic I'm like, oh, it's fine. And then like three or four times later, I'm like, oh, no, it burns again. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's on the other side. You can run with RT. Marksburg, yeah. We can just literally pick another two. Alrighty. That's not a city. <laughs> Yeah. I managed to burn myself today. Making my bread. Yeah, I played with all stuff like that. Uh, all I did was actually my elbow against the house. Forty K I just said one pick. Oh we got a new thing off that though, that's good. Say it about the camp. Arrow full of them, that's the one. Okay, cool more trail, and then, then it's exoplasm. Plasma. Who, who's the, the first one, Lol? No. Opposite order. Opposite order? Yeah, look at the amount of money they pay. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. But we've had Sienna Bong for the longest, we've known it's there. We've had a lot of these for a long time. Mm, these ones? That one we just got. That one as well. I mean, if you want to do Bolvan, Aeropol then, that one's likely to be okay. It has the 40,000 ish? 20,000? Yeah. Okay, well, like, what we can do is we can just work our way through it. Yeah, that, that one we need to find it randomly that spawns. Mm. And then we can totally work our way through it. Well, after this one month, we're going to be able to get the next payment done. True. Uh, Komar Trail is what we're looking for? For the arrow pull thing? Why do you want to do that one? I thought it was easier. No, that one's only 40k. You should probably do it. Okay. We got that one long enough. Because the exoplasm we managed, we were able to fight before the end of the last chapter. Yeah. Uh, and we already had everything above that. All this. We're having a grump off. Hey, bro. 
Analysis. Certainly, it's the boss we fought there in the original story. So. Oh man, that thing is nasty. Yeah, it's not nice. I mean, they did show us the boss every time. So I was like, mm -hmm. well, that's fun. The first thing is actually, I actually think Hammer Time is a fun boss. Chamber of the Mind Villains. See, because if we came back here last chapter, we couldn't fight this one. Mm, I think we came back last chapter. Yeah, we've been here. Oh yeah, it's the north here, right? There's a spirit boss on the way when we came in, remember? Everywhere we go, everywhere. Hello there! Vacuum. Yep, I've been seeing that recently. Also known as Tipo Suk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't know why you bullied them. Just because it's cowardice. I have to assume it's not just bullies. No, I know girls that are like it too, but it's specifically their group that I'm exposed to. The big bullies. suck. Look, they made a joke about it in Borderlands 3. It has to be funny, right? Yeah. <laughs> Most people agree that Borderlands 3 was behind all the times. <laughs> yeah. Such as the Amberlands joke. Ah. 
is in um, Sonic. That's not the right one. I lied. Sonic 2006. It's another one of the, the weird bosses in there. Sonic 2006, and he was in Sonic Rivals, and I don't remember which one came first, but either way, people did not like him. Oh, I think that 2006 Sonic had him as a, like a very more important character. Okay. Because he's like the plot of 2006 was like you could play three stories, Sonic Shadow Silver. Yeah. Um, and so Sonic, his whole plot revolved around. I, it's 2006 with 20, almost 20 years later. All right. So I'm gonna give you guys a pretty spoiler warning. All right. Everybody knows what's about to happen. So, Sonic Adventure 2000, uh, Sonic Adventure, Sonic the Hedgehog 2000, uh, just dubbed Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I got a new ability, cool. Um, the plot revolves around Sonic's story, which is... Jesus Christ. Oh, we learned a lot of those. Oh no. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to start taking things off. I keep failing to use this. Yeah, let's get Celestial Rupture. Yup. Okay, cool. So Sonic's story revolves around him finding a princess of a town of a city. She mm -hmm. gets kidnapped by Eggman. He says, well, bad. Don't do that. Uh, and then he learns that... No. Did he learn? I don't remember if she dies and he's told by somebody that time travel is a thing you can fail control, or if she, he learns that she will die and that because once it happens, it will lead to that and he decides that he can't have that happen. Uh, and then he's got Shadow Story, which is Shadow. Uh, Finding an artifact, some of shadow is the uh, the uh, Shadow finds an artifact that contains something called memory, which met me manifests like a okay. that looks really good. One, which is the shadow half of the sun god. It was just fire. I suppose so. In separate things. And I believe they're still into like, exactly that shadow in the front of the to uh, get, and that that was taken and destroyed by some of the Eggman's robots. Versus, um, old free Mephiles, and then versus, uh, Iblis, which was sealed inside. Who knows? Yeah. Question mark. Um, actually, during those events, you learn that it was sealed inside the princess Elise, uh, and that she kept getting told by her dad her entire life not to cry because princesses don't cry. It's very important for those who cry ever to Elise, uh, and she just took it as it's my duty to not show emotion to hurt people and not cry. A la Elsa before it falls in the least, funny enough. Yeah. Um, I knew I could trust and you. then when you play Silver Story, 
you kind of learn why. Uh, well, I, actually, I, I, as you play, you can play them in kind of like you have to start with Sonic, but you can I'd play like them in any order. You want. If you could still uh, so if you play through Sonic Story, you learn we that Silver's no after him consistently, and you don't understand why, but he keeps calling Sonic the Iblis Trigger. Wow, we really did a great uh, job. And you learn that kind of in art. context that he believes that Sonic is going to summon or release Iblis somehow. When you play Shadow Story, you learn that Iblis is sealed inside of Elise, the girl that Sonic is trying to save, and therefore they both start thinking, the girl dies because Eggman, Iblis is released, right? Yeah. So, so then Shadow, Silver, and Sonic do their best to save her by going back in time right before she dies, and then saving ah, her, which is, is how nice. Sonic Story ends. And then you go to Silver Story, and you learn that he's from the future. Like, several decades, at minimum, from the future. A yeah. future that is currently on fire permanently because Iblis was released. And Iblis manifests as this, this ginormous sort of fire monster in the form of... It takes multiple forms. It could be a giant fire golem or a giant fire worm, if I recall correctly. And um, Iblis meets a character who looks like Shadow but with grayed out streaks uh, who tells him, if you want to save your future, you need to save the game. We have your wallet surrounded. Give up the gold and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> this this mystery dude that looks exactly like Shadow is. with no mouth but with shadow streaks, like with great streaks. Yeah. He tells he tells him you you can use the chaos emeralds that this I'm going to give you to go back in time affairs. and to make sure it was never released. You just have to kill possible. this hedgehog. And he shows him a picture in the chaos emerald of Sh Sonic. He says this guy, if he lives releases Iblis and your future comes to be. Kill him. So, <laughs> shas... You know, what's funny about that is that the ongoing rival, rivalry, rivalry between Shadow and Sonic going on. But, but here's the twist. This guy is very explicitly not Shadow and introduces himself to Silver as Mephiles. And when you meet Shadow, when you meet Mephiles as Shadow, he's crystalline, but he like he kind of tries to play with Shadow's mind by saying, I'm your Shadow, you're always going to be like me, you can't fight me. And he manifests later on in the game as Shadow with gray streaks <laughs> and no mouth to try and mess with him. So the, the form he takes in the future is Mephiles, like a Shadow because he was in Shadow's Shadow. Haha. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Agreed. so Silver is convinced that if he lets Sonic we live at the beginning, the and he, he tries to kill him, like, big time. He meets Amy first, which is the only reason that Shadow, sur like, Sonic but survives the first encounter. Because he meets Come Amy, on, and he's like, I need to find this, me. this hedgehog. She's like, oh, I know him, we can go see him. And when they meet, he's like, he's all out. He's got telekinetic powers, and he's like, I'm gonna kill you. And he's about, like, he's hitting him down, he's hitting him down, he's hitting him down. And Sonic's like, I don't know what I'm doing, I can't move, I can't do what I usually do. And then Amy like gets in the way, and he's like, "I don't want to kill anybody else, but sh but this guy, this guy is the reason my future is in trouble. I need him to die, but I can't kill someone who befriended me." So Amy's like, "Well, you're not gonna get through him, through me." And he's like, "Crap!" So Sonic runs, and then the second time he meets him, he almost kills him again. But then Shadow shows up, and he's like, "You're a punk. I'm gonna kick your butt." And then that's yeah. when Silver is like, "What the hell? Who's this guy? He looks exactly like Mephiles. Why is Mephiles standing in my way?" And Shadow dog walks him he beats his butt so bad <laughs> until he starts getting a bit cocky and then like because shadow obviously he's got mastery of like the chaos emeralds that's in his like genetic composition he's yeah. been designed to be able to abuse them so he can stop time but silver also is a hedgehog with chaos connect connections even though you don't really know until he does the thing when he's fighting against shadow and shadow he's like shadow pulls up the chaos emerald He's like, oh, chaos control, and then and Silver's about to swing, and Shadow's like, haha, no, and he just like roundhouse kicks him behind the head. Like, Ew, what the hell are you still behind? He's like, yeah, that's what chaos control is. There. So Silver tries to do the same thing at the same time, a la Notaro and Geo, but um, instead they open a portal to the past. I shall not fall. Which is how they get to the point where they learn about Iblis and Solaris and etc. I like Sonic 06, by the way, people. <laughs> I've been very open about this fact. It's a glitchy mess of a game, and good lord if it's not weird for a sh like a Sonic the Hedgehog storyline. It's like it's like in every video game they try to avoid the um the Chris aspect of Sonic X. 
they chose to not put human characters in direct contact until Sonic uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. And that's what people don't like about, like, that game, because Elise is such a huge part of Sonic's story. To the point where, like, they have a romantic arc. Um, yeah, like, that's kind of where it gets to read, is that, um, do you remember how her dad kept going her not to cry? Yeah. Guess what happens when she cries? Yeah, so it makes her cry. Yeah. You mean the perfect trio with Sonic me? Dies. Because when he re when Mephiles re realizes that Silver's like, oh, you saved like Silver's like, wow, you saved the princess, and Iblis isn't gonna isn't gonna get summoned. You're probably fine, right? I'm gonna go back to my time. Mephiles like teleports behind Sonic and just kills him. Like just boop, you're dead. Chaos Spear, you're dead. Like and then Elise cries and Mephiles is like, hell yeah. There's the rest of me, because Iblis gets summoned, and then they fuse, and you're you're stuck with Solaris. I don't know why Mephiles had to like be manipulated that way. Like it's uh, it's at the bottom. If you're looking for I'm trying bottom. to find a way to get to the bottom. Uh, I'm I'm don't know how to do it because every time we come here, you cross the bridge. But I cross. Check the map, really. I crossed that bridge. It brought me there, so I thought maybe. I you could... need to like find a ledge that lets you jump down. So, Just get me down there. <laughs> so, um, through that mess, Sonic is dead. Like, described dead. Officially, everybody's, like, mourning. Amy cries. Elise cries. Everyone's like, no way, he's dead. Uh, but then uh, Dragon Ball shenanigans happen, because we all know that's what the Chaos Emeralds really are. <laughs> uh, and um, so they use the power of the Chaos Emeralds to bring Sonic back. And to turn into Super Sonic, and that turns Shadow into Super Shadow, and that turns Silver into Super si Silver, and then you get your final boss where you fight like Solaris, and Mephiles cries like a big baby because he's like, no, I'm supposed to be perfect, and, uh, uh, and then uh, Silver goes back this time, and people were like, Silver, so they, they really don't like Silver for like the time travel arc, I think. Okay. Uh, I think they don't like Silver because he looks like he has pot on his head as well, like his. His crest, his hair, his quills are like shaped like five oh, okay. things. It looks like a pot leaf. Uh, I don't think that's an actual issue for him, but like also the fact that, like, unlike Sh Sonic and Shadow, who both represent like a certain style of gameplay that is known for the Sonic games, right? Yeah. Um, Silver's gameplay is much more using his telekinesis to go about. Chuck stuff at people. Here and we in, go. in a lot of ways, the level design is not designed for the way that you're playing so well. And let me don't, don't let me see you do the thing you did. Let's be sure to keep this up. Back when I was a kid and this game came out, like, I was what? Man, I wasn't even 10 when I came out. Alright, I was in the middle of watching Sonic X on YouTube. And YouTube was like, you know what else is Sonic? Sonic, this new game that came out. I was like, oh man, that's so cool, right? <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's when I got my Angry Egg. Is that what I got? I, yeah, I was dealing with my Angry Egg time. So, uh, so yeah, uh, Sil Silver represents things people don't like because it's, it's a fundamental change to how you play like a Sonic game, as well as just, like I said, the level design was really broken in that game. They had like sets. Okay. Cat, apparently. Yep. They, I don't know what. Okay, so this thing we need to let it split, and then we need to fight it split, and then let it split again. Yeah. Because okay. it don't hit it. Yeah, it feels. Yeah. Unless it's traumatic. Maybe you can hit it with traumatic. Okay, let's take a look at our arts. Yeah, 
those when you're down now. Just play it. That's gonna be the same one. Fire? Fire's a different one. I think that's a right stick. Fire when the light is all the Sharing ailments, I despise that very viscerally.
dark magic on this. Oh, the other one. This one eats dark. Yeah, this one has to be the other elements. The ones that I have. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We got a combo going. Okay. 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 I never beat it in my first try, by the way. Because I never got past the, um, the last chapter we did, I don't think. Mm. Like, I got stuck trying to fight this one over and over and over again. Boy, you just dropped it. Did you just clear all your defense? Did you clear all your defense? No. Yeah! <laughs> 
some TP to begin with. Yeah. What are you doing in my arts? What are you doing in my arts? Something you're looking at, but... <laughs> Wait, um, I think I have a new skill. I'm just gonna use my skill. Like, hammer! That's a good one, yeah, we should probably. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. And then you know what I think we should do also? What? I forgot. Wait, I have an idea. Oh yeah, give Elise some TP. Already done. I think I only need to give him some TP to do something. He did poison, I think. Well, not poison, burn and paralysis. Okay, I like that on her, but right now it's not helping. Mind ring, give her mind ring. I should probably give Elise a mind ring for her mind ring. Oh, I know what the, the 
the the FAQ said one thing that we didn't do. Alright, we should check our skills. Hmm. Increase his cheap max TP by twenty percent. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Okay, skills. Look for power charge three. Two or three. Give me, here, let me see what it is. Show me power charge one first. 25% lower cost than one after guarding traits. Okay, so guard, okay. Then he gains cool, and then power charge three says, good, that's what we're gonna do. See, that's gonna put, allow us to break through his resistances, possibly. We just have to charge, we have to block and hope that we're good. Increase your transformation. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I can play again. Oh. You got forty-seven. Oh, that was a much. Okay. Yeah, let's let's uh, power charge three for sure. If you hold the 
and you get a link to the deaths. And second of all, if you build this nice little thing where uh, we reduce our attack capacity. I feel peculiar. Fudge! We're doing so good and now it's just screwing us over. No, 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 no. Guys, I understand. ones it might have even been like my brother mentioned it might have actually been a um uh, a devil arm from the previous game i love getting stronger i got to get stronger or they use the same like physical model mm -hmm. all right send us back to town do you want to do more hunts or do you want to do the next tour chapter which way do you want to go one oh. we started this stream yesterday oh okay from last stream though? Last stream we were like 50... Nice one! Yeah, something like that. Oh. Okay, uh... That is gonna get us a bronze suit. Bye -bye. We could do more side quests if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, we could. You're in charge. We paid our debt, so we could technically do the next bit. Yeah. But, well, I was okay with doing some of the hunts because that meant that we would have some income to like if we go around with and like buy some things. I think we bought everything we can. Yeah. And when we checked in Fenmont, there wasn't anything. Yeah, it's a bronze suit. That's just five goblins from Scaling Abyss. Though they give fun stuff like, um. If you look at the. The stuff they give. That gives us some more like, um, graces. <laughs> oh, can't do that yet. Look at the. Who's the. Isn't that, look at the client. Isn't that the. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised that he has the main character from that one. Um, that that's that. If you look at the things they tell you, they give you, like go back up to the top. I'm pretty sure we're missing a couple. That's just a basic one. We can do that one no problem. Dallas is the name of another character, obviously from the Tales of Fantasia, based off the mm -hmm. Tales of the World. I think Kanono, Tales of Symphonia, because it's Zelos. Richard researching the competition is Richard. Yep, and I handed some of the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can go do... 
they're not bronze. Oh, they are bronze too. We could do those now. Yeah. Fruit Yaki Soba. We need a better, better thing now. We can't do that now, though. Okay, so you want to try. You want to try. Oh, not even my cap. Oh, let me go buy it. Okay. There you go, baby. We have your wallet surrounded. Give up the gold and nobody gets hurt. I gotta give her points for doing Congrats on one <laughs> million gold repaid. I knew you could take the heat, Luger. Got 20 in that class. That's sad. We can go back to the apartment and get some bonus right now. Mom, we're going to the final wing marker. So are we at the ha we're at the house. Very here. Do you have a free moment? Oh, we're past I'm that hoping point. There's like four chapters to this of game. Personal nature. A private call? Well, well. When did you two get so close? We'll step away so you can speak in peace. Y'all are so Please don't. I would like all of you to hear this. I understand that Nova has revealed highly personal information about me. <laughs> in retaliation, no I would like to divulge some of Nova's private secrets. Uh-oh, she found out. Revenge doesn't get served much colder than this. I don't know that it would be appropriate for us to hear a young lady's secrets. <laughs> Not a moment's hesitation, eh, Luger? This is so exciting. Let's hear it. <laughs> I feel like we should have gotten points in the two of them, and yeah. then the other two would have gotten the other points. Very well. When she was a college student, Nova fell in love Julius. with the older brother of one of her classmates. Gotta be Julius. In a fleeting moment of courage, she bought him a present and went to his apartment to it confess just, her love for him. Julius. However, the target of her affection was not home. Flustered, Nova gave the gift to his younger brother, who had answered the door, and fled uh, no, without saying so a word. Dirty. Wait, what? As a result, the younger brother, for whom Nova had no feelings whatsoever, was left with the mistaken conviction that she had confessed her love to him. Because when it matters most, Nova's heart is every bit as cowardly as her mouth is bold. There's no way you're saying this to the boy in question. <laughs> Good lord, revenge is cold Was on both sides. she talking about who I think she was Everybody talking about? Everybody just blinking. Wow, two birds with one phone call. Yeah, she knew what she was doing. Yeah. This must be what they call karma. <laughs> I mean, I guess we know that she has no feelings for these girls. No. Though I don't believe that for a second. Right? Okay. I just want to go get our, our bonuses. Yeah, we got something for paying, I guess. Oh, yeah. That's what I was doing. Like what? Is, is it Freya? A pasta? Oof. Right in the heart, Luger. I think Luger I feel for her, though. Aww. Or he loves a Jude, French or Potion. Oh, we can use that to boost our French and Potion. We have four of them? Come on. Yeah, we just have to use them. We don't use the tomes either. We're, we're, how are we supposed the to? The tomes give us access to skills of certain characters, so it's not something we need to use in case we get them or not. Okay, but that's useful, is it not? We have to. They gave the skills, so like they're little. They're skills. Okay, I thought we we had to like click on them to use them. Nope. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. That's what the uh, it was. So do we wanna? You go join. It just boosts their friendship. We might end up getting a couple like pet like skits with them as well. They also give Lugia skills when they get to certain points too, so Yeah. In the same way Sophie gets skills from other characters in uh Gracie when you fight with her and all. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so next story, or do you want to do a quest just because? Oh, I just want to do a quest then. Failing Abyss then is the next step. I was trying to think of another chapter, but... We didn't unlock a new chapter. Mm. Uh, we could buy a fruit yakisoba. Yeah. And in a cave, I'm pretty sure we can like buy it or craft it. Thank you. 
Yeah. <laughs> 
We have no limits. Gold means it's a natural link dart. White means it's one of the other. I just like two arts and one go. It's the ones like link filler, link whatever. It's the thing that you get no matter what. Okay. Just so that you can actually do a link dart and not be stuck like trying to figure out how to get to the mystic art section. I got dragon circle. Phalanx? No. Dragon Sword, Dark Swallow Fury? I got Flight of Kid. Divine Ascension, I want to keep. Okay, cool. Oh no, I got things to try now. I just tried. A lot of these are repeated, though. Hope you don't mind. There was no Ascension in that. Oh, 
feel like before the last time we came here, all we saw was goblins, and all of a sudden there's like not a single one. Really? I take offense to this game. Give me the hunting targets. Like we don't even need that many. Goblins? Do you want them? Hope you don't mind. How uneventful. That's not a golden. Hope you don't mind. sure that was quicker than the other fights though <laughs> if I'm being quite honest okay I guess whatever I'll take her anytime at all hello that's not a goblin <laughs> I'm so glad you got extra skill points for that.
What an effective idea. Leave it to the... Privilege delete to find... Someone post a picture of the... the, the, the big alien from Prometheus. The, uh, no, Prometheus. The engineer or whatever the hell? Can I say it? No. Do we? <laughs> Do you? That doesn't mean we're done with the game, though. Mm. We were already there, by the way. No, we were down. Hey, look! They're waiting for us! There's one in the training room? Well done. We've been expecting you. We're on a roll, lady. We should get out there and grab the last waymark. It's not that easy. Yeah, so Something's preventing the entry into like fractured dimensions. Brand, we think shape. it's the spirit Maxwell. <gasps> the CEO will bring you up to speed on all the details in his office. So Luger, hey! That's gonna be a problem. This is no time for small talk, you guys! All you need to know is Maxwell's stopping us from getting the last way marker. Wait, Maxwell? Things are getting interesting. It would seem I need to have a chat with these spurious overseers of yours. Like, hold up, We're problem. coming with you. Yeah, because everything Hi, just hurry up. No way, Jose. Not without a good reason, she won't. Yeah. Mila Maxwell. Oh, it's only Is it wise to bring along an entourage like this? With the foreign king and a great spirit? It's probably not wise, but 15, I doubt we'd be bad. able to stop oh, them. Oh, 16, my bad. 16? Why, Luger, you're late. Whoa, double that. Oh, yeah. I believe double. you have something to tell us, Mr. Bacor. Yes, something about Maxwell. It's five shots effective. Yeah, it's just My goodness, no one said you brought a VIP. Please pardon the intrusion. I am the king of Riza Maxia. Call me Gaius. It's a pleasure, Highness. Beasley Bakur, CEO of the Spirius Corporation. Well, I don't know. Well, he is a little cold person. Are you certain you're safe here? What, with the peace accord ratification ceremony fast approaching? Fear not. I can he is under myself. my protection. <laughs> Who's she? I Trust love immediately when you say. Oh, I'm just a humble spirit. Don't mind me. Your spirit. I see. What happened? <laughs> Are you safe here? Is We've detected the fractured disgusting. dimension that contains Trust the final way marker of Kanan. Unfortunately, there's an obstacle somewhere within the dimensional abyss that's blocking all attempts at entry. I wonder if there's a way to circumvent it. We tried to force our way through, but were ever so rudely evicted. By the power of the four great spirits. The power of the four? Mila. Indeed. I'm pretty sure if you have those Mila two, Maxwell you know, herself stands yeah, between us and the final wave. No, I don't think she let them through It was Kronos who put her there. That's true. But escaping from the abyss should be child's play if she has the four with her. Perhaps it's not a matter of wanting to return, but of being unable. <laughs> Regardless, the final way marker is beyond our reach until something is done about Mila Maxwell. I would like to request the help of Riza Maxia with this situation. Very well. We'll look for a solution on our end, too. The solution is clear, isn't it? Hey, where are you going? Yes, Rowan, what is it? Elle and Mila are still somewhere in the city. Like Let's go find them. Yeah. I thought someone was screaming at me right now, so like, oh! 
No. She'll disappear if we we'll bring it up. You get it, left. don't you? That's right. The one who's keeping your Mila from returning is me. Because two identical things can't coexist in the Prime Dimension. This world's not big enough for two Milas. Yours can't return until I'm gone. Mila, wait! If Mama, she doesn't want you to stop the way to bring her back into her rightful dimension is obvious. You have to kill me. <gasps> what? Ixnay in front of the yeah. kid, yeah? No point hiding it. It's the truth. Yeah, well, it's gonna have to wait. The, the faraway scene? Gaius just called. He got word that Exodus is plotting a whopper of an attack. Don't tell me they're targeting the peace accord ceremony. He wants our help nipping this thing in the bud, so to speak. What do you say? <laughs> Let's go. We'd appreciate it. You coming too? All right. Time to hurry then. Gaius is already on his way to where they're holding the ceremony in Marksburg. Like, if you come and you die, at least, like, we won't have to be morally responsible. <laughs> I knew it all along. Oh, no. It's me. Put me in touch with those Exodus lowlifes, would you? Um, what does that mean? Exodus just doesn't give up, do they? It's up to us to stop them. Come on, guys. Let's hurry. You think that's true? 
No two of the same thing can simultaneously exist in the prime dimension? There's no definitive proof either way. 6 a.m. for what? True. Luger, what happened at the Upsilla ruins? It was like our Rolo just replaced him. Well, there you have it. The other Mila entered the Prime Dimension, while our Mila was trapped in the Dimensional Abyss. Yeah, but it's not so she could be the cork in the bottle that's stopping our Mila from getting back in. So if we return the other Mila to her fractured dimension... The one that we destroyed? But we already destroyed her dimension. And besides, once we enter a fractured dimension, we can't get back without destroying it. Why does it have to be like this? Uh, we Rolo disappeared. I feel like I've seen it before. Yeah, we totally So before we leave, we're gonna talk about Operation Olive Branch. Operation Olive Branch is a charity slash relief organization that collects funds to help evacuate people from areas such as Palestine, Sudan, and Congo that are undergoing an ongoing genocide. Uh, you can donate to it by clicking on the first link in the thing that I just summoned by typing an o exclamation point OOB into the Twitch chat that allows you to donate to their GoFundMe. I am requesting that you donate five dollars if you have more than a thousand dollars in your bank account, or one dollar if you have less, or if I've already asked you to donate, you've donated. Uh, there's also a second link, which is their link tree. It allows you to look at all sorts of resources to understand what they do as a charity organization and how they help out the people that they are helping. Uh, they have a spreadsheet to tell you where the money goes. They have all sorts of things regarding who their staff is, I guess, or people that are donating and such. They have things like an FAQ that answers questions that I'm not answering right now. And they have uh, resources for people with larger platforms to be able to foster specific families so that you can donate to them instead of the organizations themselves if you did so desire. Uh, that's all I gotta say about that. So here you go. Take care of your mental health. <laughs> it is very tight. Uh, love you folks. Peace out. Free Palestine. We're done for the night. Hope you folks enjoyed. Bye bye. <laughs>